I think we are going to have a strong year. And I think that not only 2021 is going to be strong, but uh, we are seeing a shift and transformation in the societies globally. The world is more digital, more interconnected. And so our services to help the end users are going to continue to develop. Obviously, you um, have benefited from working with the UK government in facilitating their vaccine rollout program here. Um, do you anticipate that that support will actually wash out as we go into uh, maybe the fourth quarter of the year when the vaccination programs wind down? Yeah, uh, it's possible that it's not going to be as strong as it used to be. Still, it has to be seen uh, uh, because right now we are unfortunately uh, speaking about a fourth wave with the Delta variant. But let's be clear, uh, the growth of teleperformance during the first half, uh, yes, we benefited from the support to the vaccination line of several governments in Europe, but it's not the majority of our growth. The majority of our growth was with our traditional sector. Yeah, Daniel, really nice to see you again, my friend. Um, in terms of this growth, I mean, I just think we take a step back and tell the viewers what the outlook looks like. We're talking about like for like full year revenue growth of 18 percent. I mean, these are very, very big numbers as well. Just just I mean, just again, you, you, I think you alluded to it with Jeff there as well. But this growth isn't about COVID-19, is it? It's actually about longer term trends. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, in fact, the growth is about longer term and also, in addition, the COVID-19 vaccination. But uh, in the negative of the COVID vaccine situation today, we have a decrease in our in some of our activities with uh, travel, uh, with the uh, accommodation, the hotels, and also with the visa processing. So uh, somehow, the specific activity that is positive due to the COVID is a, a minority versus the vast majority of the growth that comes from the development of the e-economy.